What's up guys, this is VJ Benacal at VJ's Tennis, where it is all things tennis. First video of the year, and I uh, hope you guys had a lovely Christmas, Happy New Year's, and safe school holidays. Uh, we obviously deserved the break after what we'd gone through with Victoria last year, and of course the year before that, and um, yeah. Uh, this is my first video of the year, guys. Uh, it is a bit of a long time coming. Um, and I have an exciting video, which is called, What Strings Did I Buy for 2022? And, of course, for the next few years to come. And I bought it all for me. No, I'm kidding. I bought it for my, <laughs> I bought it for my stringing business. So, if you are interested... And if you are living close by around Werribee and Victoria area, uh, definitely check the link up the top, uh, www.vjsturners.com, or you can go to www.linktree.com slash vjstennis, where you can get to see YouTube channel, Instagram, uh, my website. Uh, on the website, it's got all of my streaming details, uh, prices and all that, etc, etc. And also my phone number as well. So, um, I'm going to be going through the old strings that I have currently, and I'm still selling them for stringing services. So, as you guys know, I've been stringing tennis rackets for over four years. Um, it will soon to be five this year, and I can't wait to string more for 2022. So, the old ones, I have three of them, and the first one is Head Sonic Pro, which is a 1.30mm polyester, and I string this for one of my top players, in fact, he's one of my best mates. I'm pretty sure he'll know who that is, because I string it in his rackets, and uh, I'm pretty certain he loves it. He does kind of always say the saying, if it goes over the net, it goes over the net, but uh, still, uh, I'm sure he will love this one, and uh, I believe this is actually a comfortable polyester through the head range, I believe, and um, I'd, I'd actually recommend anyone trying it, and it has been around for more than 12, I think 13 plus years, so it's quite popular. The next one, and I use this in pretty much my Yonix E-Zone rackets, and it is probably the best powerful control and comfortable polyester I've ever used in my entire life. And uh, it is a bold statement, but it is the 2020 AO version of Yonix Polytour Pro. And this is a 1.25 millimeter gauge, and... I honestly recommend this to anyone. I mean, this is actually a really, really, really solid string. So, definitely check this out. And my final old one that I've got, and also another one of my uh, top players I string for as well. Uh, he actually has his own, but uh, this is a vocal Cyclone, and it's a 1.35 millimeter. <gasps> It is so thick. It is the thickest polyester I own um, in my stringing business so far, or my stringing stock, whatever you like to call it. And this is a nonagon shape of the polyester. So the nonagon, it's got about, um, it's got, a, it's got a lot of edges on the string, and it provides a bit of spin because it bites into the ball and it just grabs onto the ball and it'll just zzz, spin like crazy. So, those are my old strings that I got, and I'm now going to go through the new strings for 2022, and probably for the next five or six years to come. I reckon this is going to be lasting me for six years. So, let's get into it, and let's have a look. Now, we'll go through two multi-filaments, and one synthetic gut. And these are new ones. Um, I sold all the old ones already. And I'm going to go for the first one. So the first one is Wilson Sensation. And Wilson Sensation has been around for a very long time. In fact, I actually use this string uh, in my in tournaments or competitions that I've been playing. Uh, and uh, it is uh, 
It's sensational. It's sensation. It's just a really good multi-filament. So, great multi-filament. Uh, recommend it. It's really soft, very arm friendly. So, no issues with this multi-filament. My second and last multi-filament. Now, I did string with this in my Ionix a couple of weeks ago. I went to a friend of mine in uh, Knox Gardens Tennis Club where I actually tried it out. And it's... Not a, that's it's probably the best multi-filament I've actually ever used, if if I'm honest. And this is a Technifiber multi feel, and this is a 1.25 millimeter. So this is the thinner multi-filament that I got compared to the Wilson Sensation, which is a 1.3. So uh, again, top-notch multi-filament, and I think. To be honest, the Technifiber multi-filament suits my game more than any other multi-filaments. So, yeah, I have been experiencing a lot of uh, multi-filaments over these last few years. But, uh, multi feel definitely check this one out. And last, in terms of the softer strings, or I guess you can call it the economical ones, um, and I've only got one synthetic gut that I own, and this is Babalat Syngut. Babalat Syngut is actually a nice feel of the string in terms of uh, stringing it and uh, the, the color it, it is actually really nice to be honest with you. I, uh, I thought I hated it at first but it's actually really really nice and I did string it for one client already and the tension maintenance when I uh, you know strung it or strung it after the, you know putting it onto the machine and all those sort of things it's actually really good tension maintenance and it is really really low price uh highly recommend it and um yeah good set fatty gut for players who are looking for affordability and i guess the quality i don't know how well it's performed um uh, my client still hasn't got his racket yet but uh, at the time of this video but it is pretty decent i must say so we're now going to go through my five polyester strings that is ready for 2022. So here I have with me a stack of strings. And um, I've got five polyesters, brand new ones. Uh, I haven't tried... Um, I've tried one of them. I haven't tried all of them yet. Um, but now with all the reels I actually have, it contains 200 meters of string. So... It's enough for 16 to 18 tennis rackets on uh, pretty much on that level. And um, yeah, so we're going to go through all the five that I've got brand new. So the first one I'm going to go with is Polyfiber High Tech Premium. Now, I haven't tried this string. It is pretty affordable. Um, but at the same time, I've heard some good reviews about it. And this is a 1.20 millimeter. And, um, yeah, it, it, from what I heard, it's also made in Germany. Uh, I don't exactly know what color it really actually is. It's kind of like a very light blue or light gray, light blue. But yeah, it's kind of hard to tell what color it actually is. So yeah. So, polyfiber, high tech premium. Second polyester that I've got, and it is one of the most popular ones in head range and probably in today's market. It is called Head Links. So, Head Links uh, not only is in red, but it's also in flu. flu <laughs> Can't speak English today. It's fluoro yellow and it's available in black. And this is a 1.25 millimeter. I did used to use this string. Um, I would love to use it now, but uh, unfortunately, it was too stiff in my arm, so I decided to not use it. But overall, best string in the business. Next, as I talked to you about earlier, Yonex Polytor Pro. <laughs> um, this is a. Uh, but here's a twist. This is the thinnest polyester I own currently, and this is a 1.15 millimeter. So, uh, which is obviously going to give you a lot of access to power and spin just because of how thin it is. And um, 
yeah, again, Yannick's Poly Tour Pro. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. You should not be missing this one out. Fourth, uh, fourth string. I also got Head Sonic Pro, but here's another twist. It's white in color, 1.25 millimeter. Um, I have not tried this. Um, it's still, um, hasn't been opened yet at the time of this video. But, uh, again, Head Sonic Pro, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a comfort string, so if you do have tennis elbow or any of those issues, I think you should give this a try, or even put it in a hybrid setup. Like, put this one maybe in the mains, and then you could put a multi or a synthetic gut in the crosses or something like that. And the final string that I've got, and I heard some pretty decent reviews about it, um, it does have... A bit of edges on the uh, string in particular as well, and I don't I don't think it's a nonagon. Uh, I could be wrong, um, but this is, and it's also actually uh, an affordable Babolat string on the market, and this is called the Babolat RPM Hurricane. It used to be, I believe, Babolat. Wait, what's it called? Babolat. Um, Pro Hurricane Tour, or Pro Tour Hurricane. Um, I'm pretty sure I would po probably put this on the link up the top there. Um, or probably say something, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it, it is a well-known string. It's been around for years. They just recently changed the name, just because of marketing purposes. And I think it's fantastic, because, you know, they have the main player and sponsor, uh, or... Well, player in general, uh, Rafael Nadal, because he uses a lot of spin, and they use the word RPMs, because RPMs relate to spin, and and it relates to Nadal's playstyle, and all those sort of things, so yeah. So, those are all the strings that I've got for 2022, and possibly for many years to come. I'm going to leave it there, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks so much for watching this video, give it a smash, like, Thumbs up, comment, and uh, yeah, I hope to see you with more videos soon. Take care, have a good one, peace out.